Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Baseball Orn Collectibles here with a new video. And hopefully, um, I can get more videos coming in the future. And I'm sorry, this is only off a computer for off a computer camera. As I am still very new at this. Um, those of you that have seen some of my videos, baseball, lore, and collectibles, and that's L-O-R-E and collectibles, I mostly talk about the sport, the history of our great sport, and I talk about also some vintage items that I either have, have had, or whatever in baseball memorabilia and collectibles, and I certainly respect Anybody who loves the old stuff, okay? And, you know, that stuff, to me, and, you know, with the lockout and all, which is being recorded in mid-January of 2022, the lockout drives me crazy. But I could say this. This is because I love the history of the game and I'm a self-professed historian and a self-professed, you know, collector on a very tiny level. I just love the history. And the more unique something is, the more unusual something is. And I've got something that will be on my next video that is really... Um, it's really unusual. But right now, I'm going to show you, over the years, stuff that I bought that I believe to be very, very unusual. You won't see many cards, but, you know, back in the day, as we all know, and today, one of the most popular baseball card collectibles for vintage collectors is the T cards. And, you know, that's a whole run of tobacco cards with T206 is being the big one with the Wagner and everything, and T205s, T207s, you know, right on down the line. Well, something I picked up a few months back, which is very, very, it, it's got to be close, if not unique. Somewhere back in the day, a long time ago, someone who was an Eddie Collins collector or fan or just a T205 collector, took an Eddie Collins T205 card. And of course, as you know, those are the gold border cards. And said, hey, I'm going to turn this into a paperweight. You say, what? A paperweight? And yes, a paperweight. And I'm going to tell you something. I've never seen anything like this. I believe the paperweight is vintage. It does have chips and different things on it. And it even has... The card itself has some bubbles on it, which is from the glass, I'm sure. But it certainly doesn't detract from a very amazing piece, in my opinion, a very unique piece. Now, it is also my opinion that this paperweight was done at or shortly after the time of the card, which, of course, is 1911 era. And here we go. Now, again, because this is a computer camera the image is reversed so you can't let me see if i can find it here there it is i'll bring it up there so you can see it now you notice there it is eddie collins philadelphia athletics philadelphia americans and certainly unbelievable there's the paperweight you can see the thickness there Chipping on the edge of the glass, to me, it makes no difference because this is such a vintage piece and such a cool piece. And I believe that, like I said, these are the kind of things, you know, a lot of people, and this is what makes our hobby so great, is that a lot of people love to collect almost anything. You know, they can collect the vintage cards. Some people are autograph um Autograph people, there's the back, Piedmont. And others, you know, they look for the, the vintage stuff. They would rather game you stuff or, you know, 
the advertising, what have you. This is just amazing. And, you know, to me, this is what the hunt is. The hunt is to go back, and I'm not a person of good, of high financial means. So something like this becomes a big deal for me. And I really believe that this is what the chase is because these are the kind of things you don't see. All right. You don't see things like this. And another item that I will have in about a week on another video I do, or thereabouts, is another similar item, not as bizarre and as desirable as this, most likely, but it'll be something to look forward to. But spread the word about this and hopefully subscribe so I can get up the subscriber base. I only have a handful, small handful of subscribers. I want to get the word out about these videos and make more. And anything about the history of the game or its collectibles is fair game. So watch for more videos from baseball, lore, and collectibles. Thanks, everybody, and keep on collecting. And I look forward to doing another video for you soon. Until then, goodbye, all.